Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jay from the Jay Cast Podcast. Uh, I want to drop. I want to talk about uh, the federal, <laughs> the federal interest rates and the federal budgets and stuff like that. Because um, I want to just not just me, but we want to give our two cents. And uh, <clears throat> I think me and Jay are in pretty much agreement with this. But a lot of people are wondering, and I- I'm not saying anything that people haven't already said. I'm just so you guys can know where we stand on this topic. And at least what what we what we see in this, as you guys as everybody's aware, the interest rates are extremely high right now, and um, obviously we need the idea, right? I think his name was Paul Krugman. Uh, he used to be the federal the chair back in the day, and the idea behind that is that when the economy is running too hot and inflation is running rampant, you raise the interest rates. And when you raise the interest rates, it makes borrowing money a lot more expensive for companies. And because borrowing money is a lot more expensive for companies, the velocity of money or or just the movement of money starts slowing down. And as a result, because the movement of money starts slowing down, demand starts slowing down. And that trickles down to the consumers. So when demand starts going down, what ends up happening and this is remember, keep in mind, we just ra- this is raising interest rates. The more you raise interest rates, this is what happens. As demand starts going down, the prices of goods and services start going down because people no longer want those goods and services and they try not to get it if they could. Okay? Unless you go into inelastic and elastic goods and services. That's a different story, right? So when lower when things get when prices go low, what ends up happening is this, these are all the signs of a recession. Nobody's buying anything. Companies are not borrowing money. As a result, they're laying people off. And because people are laid off, they're not, they're not buying anything. And because people are not buying anything, prices go down. And that's technically how you tamper or, or how you, how you kind of keep inflation under control. Now, people are like, well, how come the government isn't doing that right now? Right? If, if, it, if it means we're going to heal in like two or three years or whatever the case may be. That's because... There's a catch-22 in, in our scenario. What's different between now and when Paul Krugman, I think the, the gentleman's name was, wasn't the uh, the chair of the Federal Reserve, was that the federal debt wasn't as high as it is now. And because the federal debt is as high as it is right now, each time the interest rate goes up, the line item in the federal budget or the federal expense sheet, whatever it's called, also goes up. It's more expensive for the federal government to keep servicing their debt as interest rates go up, it's more expensive. That's why they haven't really raised it. Anybody out there wondering, like, it doesn't make any sense. Why is the Fed not raising the interest rates? You know, they got to fight inflation. Well, they have to, yes, but now they also have to deal with the federal budget that's out of control. Okay? That's what happens when you raise interest rates. Now, when you lower interest rates, one of the reasons you lower interest rates is to kind of fight off an inflation, Right? When you lower interest rates, it becomes cheaper to borrow money. As a result, companies start borrowing money. There's more money circulating in the system. Uh, more people have money. It trickles down to, to the people. They have more money. There's a bigger demand for stuff. And then prices go up. Uh, prices go higher. But that's okay because you, you, you want to stimulate the economy. So prices go up. Uh, things start getting inflated again because it's a higher demand. And... If interest rates stayed too low for too long after we've been out of a recession, what you have is, is an overheating economy, which is what we have right now. And what happens is we have an overheating economy, which means interest uh, 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 inflation is going keeps going up. That means we have to raise the interest rates again. One of the advantages of lowering the interest rates in this case would be for the federal government, because once you lower the interest rates, the federal debt becomes easier to manage it's like hey uh i owe this much money uh but it's cheaper because the interest rates are down that's what i suspect is happening that's why they haven't raised the interest rates to really fight off inflation like they did in the 80s where paul krugman just straight up jacked it all the way up to as high as he could i believe and uh it resulted in us getting out of the recession it resulted in, in us tampering inflation and also getting out of the recession getting out of the recession excuse me so that's our understanding of it. What we believe is going to happen, this is my, well, not we, me. What, what I believe is going to happen 
they're going to try to keep everything in balance as in the balance as long as they could until after the election right because you can one can even say that um tampering with this so close to election season could be considered and nobody's gonna say that but it's it's an it's an indirect uh election interference because you raise interest rates people are gonna start feeling the pain and you know that might sway their political votes uh, I don't know how quickly they'll feel the pain this late in the election and this late in the game relative to uh, how long it takes interest rates to affect the economy versus the election season. That's pretty much like, what, eight months away, seven months away. Um, but I think I think they're going to wait till after the election. Whoever wins doesn't matter. And then they're going to raise up the interest rates a little bit more. They're going to really bring... A lot of possible hurt to the economy in an attempt to fight inflation because as you guys saw inflation keeps coming in hot it keeps staying stubborn it makes sense i don't know people were saying oh that the feds might lower interest rates nobody believed that i no, you can't be a self-respecting economist economist and believe that especially with what's going on with the housing right people say oh we're not buying houses because the interest rates are too high so if anybody thinks that way and the interest rates go low again, right? You just increased the demand for housing yet again, which is going to drive prices for the house for the houses yet again. But you know, our two thoughts. Uh, let us know what you guys think. Like, share, subscribe. This this is just our prediction. We predict. Well, me, I predict they're going to try to leave interest rates alone. They might raise it maybe one more time, maybe until after election season and then they're going to start really taking taking serious measures but like share subscribe